funny uh can you tell me about a time when you had to say no to a particular project definitely shrinath so i went ahead and said no to that architect and told a clear detail about why i don't want to prioritize it at this point but this is definitely a creative idea that we should solve in the future so i added to the i added that uh, idea to my backlog and what we also did in the future is you need to have that influence without authority uh, which you can showcase with the right mixture of data analysis uh, that funny as uh, talked about hey everyone uh, welcome to our podcast everything uh, product uh, this week uh, we are focusing on product manager behavioral interview questions uh, so which is a critical uh, component uh, for any product manager interview uh, first i'm going to ask a funny a question and at the end we'll try to understand why the interviewer is asking that question and what they are looking to learn from us so with that being said uh, let's dive into the question so funny let me ask you a question uh tell me about a time where uh, you had to influence uh, others in your experience definitely sir i'll give you an example which happened approximately a uh, year or year and a half ago where i had to convince my vp of products to prioritize one of the initiatives so during my quarterly planning i have uh, understood that if i implement one of the features it's going to be really beneficial for my customer so i created a product requirements document explaining all the clear benefits and i've put it in my uh, priority for that uh, quarter but after the priority happened with my vp he hasn't prioritized that initiative i was very surprised to see that and in order for me to prioritize make sure that he understand that initiative clearly i've scheduled a meeting and i've uh, made sure to send a quick summary of why that is needed meanwhile i also gathered several other details that is needed i gathered customer quotes i also gathered several research level feedback of why this is beneficial both to the company and to our stakeholders as well i took all of this research that i did with data customers and the stakeholder feedback to my vp after he saw all of this data he was able to clearly understand that this is more beneficial for our customers than the other priorities that had he had in mind and with that i was able to convince him to successfully prioritize my initiative yep thanks funny so now let's dive into why the interviewer is asking this question first as a pm one of the key skills that interviewers would like to see is can this person influence without authority so as a pm it's extremely important uh, to have the skills uh, because uh, as in you you most probably a pm is an individual contributor and you work with so many stakeholders you need to have that influence without authority uh, which you can showcase with the right mixture of data analysis uh, that funny has uh, talked about so it's extremely important uh, to have the skill uh, when you have so many priorities uh, and and so many competing uh, trade offs that you may need to make and what interviewer is trying to learn from here is whether what kind of work that you would do before you go and influence so in this video funny talked about a lot of this uh, i mean data analysis uh, i mean before going to a vp uh which is uh, a solid evidence why he believes uh, that decision is right so interview is essentially basically testing out what kind of groundwork that we do before we go and just uh, influence over authority all right so funny uh, let me ask you a question uh, can you tell me about a time when you had to interact with a customer definitely shrinath i'll give you an example um, about a year or so ago i'm working on a product that's completely new to the world and it's also based on um one of the biggest technologies that was happening at that time web3 so i have very limited knowledge on what to build and my team also has a very limited knowledge but as a product manager i'm supposed to be someone who is going to understand what is needed and build the product so what i did the very first thing that i did is go and talk to the customers who are actually going to use the product so i reached to to a couple of customers scheduled interviews and then asked them some of the questions that i have in mind currently how do they solve this problem what are the other tools that they currently use after that interview i was able to understand that uh, a typical customer journey what they follow what i did is i took that feedback 
went back to my design team and created a high level designs on how we can solve this problem i took those designs and then i asked my research team to do an unmoderated study with several other customers and gather additional feedback once i got that additional feedback we as a team sat together to detail out all the feedback that we got from the customers went back to my design and then redid all of my designs to make sure it solves our customer problem after that we took those designs went to our engineering team successfully implemented and i completed my circle by going back to the customers again and then i showed them the product asked them to use it and then we also gathered few additional inputs that can be tweaked after the launch we were able to successfully uh, launch the product and uh, made sure our customer is happy thank you yep thanks for there so now let's dive into i mean why the interviewer has asked that question and what they're looking to learn uh, from funny so so regarding the why right so is i mean as a pm i mean what interviewer is trying to understand from uh, us is are we able to work with the customers are we able to go and capture customer needs uh, which is very important uh, for any product manager uh, because when you are building a product you are basically building for the customer so wearing that customer shoes is pretty important and understanding that uh, is pretty important so uh, so as so that's one of the reason uh, the interviewer is asking that question and what they would like to learn from is is how do the person gather that insights from customer there are various ways of doing it i mean in this video you can see i mean funny did like various uh, studies uh, i mean and did lot of interviews uh to gather that needs uh so we are building the product uh, right so overall i mean i'll say interviewer is testing here our customer obsession skills uh, which is pretty important for any product manager so yeah that's about this funny uh can you tell me about a time when you had to say no to a particular project definitely shrinath uh, i'll give you an example which happened approximately like 6 to 9 months ago um we did our quarterly planning and uh, our team has decided to like focus on certain initiatives be it product be it design be it engineering everyone is heads on um to deliver those initiatives and we also set targets to like take our metrics from x to y during that time one of our architects a very intelligent person came up with a very creative idea to solve a completely different problem that our product had he created a document and he came with a clear thought process on how he wants to build that once he took it uh, once he brought that i reviewed that problem i also understood the customer benefit that it's going to give and the overall value it's going to bring to the product i went ahead and compared that to what we have planned for the current quarter what i understood is by doing the initiatives that is currently planned we'll be able to reach our metrics that is targeted but by doing that other creative idea we will be derailing the entire product and at the same time our teams are also like focused on a certain thing so if you change the priorities in between they will also lose that uh, attention and they will also have to like completely rewire what we are thinking so i went ahead and said no to that architect and told a clear detail about why i don't want to prioritize it at this point but this is definitely a creative idea that we should solve in the future so i added to the i added that uh, idea to my backlog and what we also did in the future is we had a hackathon that happened after a month or month and a half so we took this idea and within 5 days the entire team was able to implement this idea so that's one of the times that i had to like strictly say no, no to uh, my team members all right uh, so now let's try to understand uh, why the interviewer was uh, i mean asking this question and what they would like to learn uh, from the candidate i mean essentially the reason they are asking this question is can a candidate take bold decision at times when necessary uh, and say no even if uh, whether it's an architect or in this case it was architect whether whatever it may be if it doesn't fall under the right prioritization such as it doesn't meet the business requirements or company's priorities i mean i think funny uh, took a right decision here by saying no um, which was pretty important uh, for the interviewer to understand that if you can do that or no 
At the same time, I mean, what I mean, what they're trying to learn from us is also, can we do the right trade-offs? Can we do the prioritization pretty well when we are faced with competing priorities, uh, which is pretty important for a product manager? Uh, so Intuit is trying to learn that skill because as a product manager, you, we are going to face that issue almost uh, every day, every week. So it's pretty important uh, to um, justify and do the right trade-offs and prioritization. Yep, so thank you, Fanny, there. Thank you.